Alrighty, welcome to a first look at Once Upon a Galaxy. This is a new auto battler made by a lot of the same folks who made Storybook Brawl. So if you like that game, you'll definitely want to check it out. And uh, I've had the pleasure of working on it. And today I'm going to give you a quick run through and show you why it's awesome. This game is designed for mobile first, but we're going to be playing, of course, on desktop here. Let's go ahead and hop in. It's very simple. So you start by picking a captain. Here you've got Melody. This is actually the one I'm going to pick. I, I do enjoy playing Melody. Every six cards you pick, your buffs from spells give an additional plus one, plus one. Well, unsurprisingly, you're going to find out that there are some spells in the game. So each turn you're presented with two shops and there's no currency. You don't buy and sell characters. You just pick from the shop. So that simplifies things, makes it faster, but there are ways to get extra shops and you know, you'll see as we go through how you acquire more stuff. I'm going to take Plunder Penny here. She's a 1-1. One, one. She has Hunt, improves your buffs by plus one spell attack. Or sorry, plus one. Your buffs from spells get plus one. And Hunt means does she attack and kill something? And then this is the perfect follow-up. Puck. Support plus three attack. Support's also pretty intuitive. When I put Puck here, well, it's not supporting anyone, but if I put Puck here, supports the two front slots and Plunder Penny is going to get a support. Unfortunately, I was second and uh, the laser shark took me down. So I took half a heart of damage, but if I win the next fight, I'll get that back. Once you lose a full heart, though, you are done. Mm, I like Daughter of Athena. She has a quest. If I recruit three heroes, she's completed her quest. She gives me a treasure and then I'll take picks, another support card here. So now my plunder Penny's getting plus three, plus three total. She's a four, four and Athena's just getting plus three health. But I really want this to hunt. So I'll have it go first. Boom. Take out a jack in the box. And then <laughs> these got a lot of high health characters. They're kind of bouncing back and forth. But, oh, I am going to win and get my heart back. All right, now, starting on turn three, spells are in the shop. So now I could buy Twinkle Twinkle. Next character you recruit gets plus five, plus four. Normally plus four, but Plunder Penny makes it one more. And as soon as I pick another card or two, this is going to start kicking in as well. But I actually still will play Twinkle Twinkle. And then here, I can get a silver plunder penny, which levels her up. Once you get to gold, you get a treasure and your ability gets better. But the other thing is silver gives me an extra shop. So well, look, I'll take plunder penny. She goes silver and I get another shop. And now Peter Pan is an interesting one. When I recruit him, when I when I get him, bust from Faye give an additional plus one health. And these are both Faye. So why don't I take Peter Pan? And now look, Puck's giving plus three, plus one. And Pix is giving plus four. And now I have plunder penny first, just so maximize the chances she slays she did and uh looks like i'm gonna win this fight as well barely their cowardly lines too cowardly he doesn't attack that's that's his ability and attacks are just random oh i didn't win the fight oh never mind <laughs> we got we got bashed uh but my my spell buffs now are at plus seven plus five for that spell and melody is ticking as well so Let's see. My next character is plus seven, plus five. This is kind of like buying a plus seven, plus five character, and it's going to go under the gold version of Plunder Penny, and they keep all their stats as they level up, and I get a treasure. Perfect. Oh, I like breadcrumbs a lot. Every round, the first spell I see is, is Lost in the Woods, which shows me a new shop. So this will help me find the stuff I need. Oh, they went first and slayed. All right. I'm going to take another half heart. Now I'm at two hearts, so kind of got to watch out. Achilles is a pretty strong hero. All right, let's take Achilles over Peter Pan. Get another treasure. I think this one, I might just take Relic of Antiquity. You get plus two, plus two to a random slot every turn. Seems reasonable to me. And then I don't mind Fairy Godmother. Each fight, all my other characters get plus one, plus two. This is kind of a lot of stats, though. Nightshade's also good. Once I recruit her, all my spell buffs get an additional plus one, plus two the rest of the game. Yeah, I'll take that. And I think it's time to to retire Puck here. Um, let's let's do th let's do this. All right. So Plunder Penny slays. Oh, Achilles is going to slay also give my whole squad plus 2 plus 2. I love that. Oh, I'm definitely going to lose this fight though. There are two back rowers, two giant range things, and range things don't take damage back when they attack. So that is not going to work out well for me, but I still have a chance to to get my heart back. All right. So Lost in the Woods. There's also a card that care about how many spells you played in a game, so Lost in the Woods is, is kind of nice for that. Ooh, all for one. Give all my characters plus eight, plus five, and if I win the fight, additional plus eight, plus five. Yes, that's going to level up my team an incredible amount. And then Greed is nice, too. It gives a character Treasure Hoard, which is an ability that says plus one, plus one for each treasure. I'm going to load it on Plunder Penny here. This is this is my plan. We're kind of battle cruisering it up. Unfortunately, Punxsutawney Phil, if he 
uh, is attacked and dies, he, he actually comes back. But luckily, I still won the fight. I got my half health back. Uh, I'm just going to fire off Lost in the Woods again. And now I'm going to level up Achilles. Boom. And then I could just Lightning Bolt, deal 20 to an enemy. But my squad's pretty good. I could maybe do something else. The problem is, Two-Headed Wizard I like. It doubles your next spell, and whenever you cast a spell, it gets plus two, plus two. The problem I have with that is I'd have to give up a 21-13, but maybe my stats are good enough to to, to keep that in mind. All right, let's, let's actually... Yeah, this is probably good. Okay, Abracadabra, one of my one of the best spells. You get a bonus shop of all spells. So now I'm gonna get two because of the two-headed wizard. I'm gonna get two shops of all spells. Oh, I could cast another Ab Abracadabra, but giving all three front row slots plus eleven plus six is sick. Plus the slot buffs they just stay around. So uh, you know Achilles is a twenty-eight eighteen. Once I cast this, is gonna be like a thirty-nine uh, twenty-four. But 11.6 of that is just going to stay around even if I replace him as a character, which is which is pretty great. And then this gives a slot plus 12, plus 7. So yeah, let's... I could do that. Or actually, I'll do plus 14, plus 9 on Plunder Penny. And if I win the fight, she gets another plus 14, plus 9. Oh, that's not where I wanted that shark hit to go. Really would like to win this fight. Oh, it looks like I'm going to buy a lot, actually. Why am I even worrying? All right. So now we're now we're cruising. Look at this. She's got a treasure hoard. She's at 8052 and every time I hunt my spells get better and better. It's lost in the woods. And another down came the rain. Yeah, that's that's great. We've got to press our advantage cuz you know some of the other people we're fighting against, they could have great squads too, but uh getting to just load up plunder penny here. Once you get far enough ahead, it really helps kind of feed itself. So hopefully we can keep this cruise in here. And so far it looks pretty good because we're going to win this fight as well. And we're getting higher level. We're seeing higher level characters. So let's just see a new shop here because that pumps this two-headed wizard. Ooh, another two-headed wizard. Oh, huff and I'll puff. All right. Deals 15 to an enemy. And if it kills the enemy, my whole team gets plus 19, plus 10. And there's two of them. So let's hope that these hit because it would be really nice to be able to take give a get a huge bonus there and then i'll meet in a tavern just gets me a new uh shop merlin well that's the best payoff for spells whenever i play a spell my characters get plus five plus five so let's replace uh daughter of athena here all right first bolt no second bolt no they both took him down to three so i didn't get the massive bonus but i think we're gonna be fine here since uh merlin is just gonna kick us into overdrive merlin plus lost in the woods it's quite the combo i could also buy elminster so he gives my spell buffs an additional plus five, plus five. And if I cast four spells in the same turn, I complete the quest and get a legendary treasure. All right. I think it's worth doing that. Um, yeah, I think he's going to be better than Nightshade. I'll keep Achilles for now. Oh, another Nightshade. Hmm. Maybe it's time to give up on Achilles because I just want to have all mages here. Give all my characters plus 25, plus 15. I've really worked on these spell buffs. And my silver characters get an additional plus 28, plus 18. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so let's battle. So you might ask, you know, who am I battling against? Is, are, they, are they computers? Well, <laughs> yes and no. So the, the, the reason that I say that is because this is asynchronous, which I think is a huge upside for the game. What it means is there's no one waiting on me. I can take as long or as short as I want per turn, but I'm also playing against actual people because... You're put in a lobby with teams from people's past games. So when I face someone, it is a team a human made. It's just it's at a different time, which gives us like all the benefits of async play. So I'm going to take a leveled up nightshade here and get a treasure. Luckier chest. The next, the next treasure you discover is two levels higher. Oh, that's how you get an above legendary treasure, a secret treasure. So let's take that and cast our spell here. We're not going to complete Elminster's quest this turn. Oh, now we're fighting against someone with... They have a pretty big squad, but looks like we're going to take them down still. Barely, but... And let's go Lost in the Woods. That really just helps Elminster here. Oh, into second Lost in the Woods. It's that or Wizard of Oz, which is a great character. It's a support. gives plus two, plus two for each spell you've played. But now that I've chained off with Lost in the Woods, then I'll definitely get my legendary treasure here. So that's all I'm looking for. Uh, and... Let's see what my options are. Bottled Star White Light. Your characters have plus 30, plus 30. And if you get a first place, you get a bonus reward. Out of game, metagame even. Plus a thousand swords. So these are treasures 
They're secret rares. You normally can't get them, but I use Luckier Chest to get a higher level treasure than the highest level treasure. That's how I got there. And then Trifork. Your characters all have Treasure Hoard 3, and the first time you see a treasure, you collect all the treasures. <laughs> I'll go. I think I'm winning by enough that I can take Bottled Starlight and try to get an extra bonus here. And then all for one, give them all my characters plus 32, plus 19. If I win another one, and Merlin's giving them all plus 5, plus 5 anyway. So we're kind of just destroying this lobby, which, trust me, is not every lobby I play in. But uh, this, one, this one worked out really nicely, and we're just going to take down our last opponent pretty quickly here. Lost in the Woods. Pump the whole squad. Golden Achilles or transform a character? Uh, I, 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 I'll transform Nightshade. Why not? So it keeps all the buffs and now transforms into Oberon, a, a fae that gives plus 20, plus 1 every, every round. And then to the characters it's supporting. Golden up the two-headed. Take down this Ogre Magi and the Kraken. Conan and all that. Their own Merlin, but too little too late on that. And boom. First place. So that's Once Upon a Galaxy. The Kickstarter is live now. So definitely check it out. Go to galaxygame.gg. And we're going to play again because this that game was a lot of fun. Hmm. Albus is great. Whenever you cast three spells, you get a random uncommon mage. And then this ability levels up. It's kind of a turbo Merlin character. I just did mages, so I might just take skip. You level up early, but you skip your first turn. So I pass. I lose round one. I'm going to try to get a strong squad round two but i'm at a higher level than them so i am i have access to better characters foul lich whenever one of your animals is ko'd this gets plus one plus one permanently and i could i guess i want nutcracker prince i might lose this fight still though oh it actually looks like we're gonna oh, still lose so didn't get my heart back but now i can take the cowardly lion which is which is nice with foul lich and baby bear which is Pretty good. Each fight, my animal slots get plus one. So I'm kind of drafting animals here. I really want a hero for this because when this dies, it gives one of my heroes plus three, plus three. I just haven't found a hero to go with it, unfortunately. One could say that I need a hero, but, uh, you know, one, one, not me. Uh, oh, Achilles. That's a hero. I do need a hero. So let's play Achilles in the back row. So this dies, make pumps Achilles, and then it attacks and pumps the Foul Lich. And then I can get all my characters plus two attack. I think I'd rather draft this and not even put it on my team. It gives all my, my shop plus one, plus one. And you can drag it to the top here if you don't actually want to put the character on your team. So, all right, Achilles gets big and then boom, hits. It's slayed, though we might be speed running this time. These, these, this is actually how games will skip can go sometimes. You can really get shellacked. Mm, and a bunny is also really nice. Hunt plus four, plus four. So I think... I think I get rid of the baby bear or the nutcracker prince. I think the baby bear and I put the Anna bunny first and then uh, treasure hoard doesn't really help. Hyena. These are all kind of mediocre. I think I'm just going to greed the Anna bunny for when I do draw a treasure. All right. Oh, that was the one thing I couldn't hunt. And then my Achilles died. At least my cowardly lion went off. So I'm down to one heart, but I get a treasure here. When you buff a slot, give it an additional plus two, plus two. Okay, this I really want, and I wish I had my my baby bear back. But now whenever you do a slot buff, it's plus two, plus two bigger. And Huff and I'll Puff is really strong at this point in the game. It's almost assuredly going to kill something. And then my whole squad will get plus four, plus four. And now I could take Mighty Mouse. Animals, my heroes, my shop. Animals and heroes, my shop have plus four, plus four. And every time you buy one, that ability goes up by plus two, plus two. Cowardly Lion, get out. And... I think I want like this. I'm, mm, yeah, I want the foul lich to get out of here. All right, plus four, plus four, my whole squad. Anna Bunny's now gonna hunt successfully. And then Nutcracker dies. Achilles is gonna hunt. And Santa Claus is going down. You're going down, Santa Claus. Ooh, three bags full, find a common treasure. Or buy this, it's got sneak and range, so it shoots the back row and they don't shoot back. Little ninja in training there. All right, I think it's time for this foul lich to get out of here. And then Stinky is a really good defensive measure. 732, and when it's attacked, it deals damage to a random enemy. Okay, so now let's put Achilles first. So, because he, he'll only buff the characters that are alive. And now I'm getting those buffs. We're, we're kind of getting there. And boom. All right, there we go. All right, let's go to shop. 
now we're getting to the high level things. Wishing Dragon is pretty good. It's Treasure Horde 3 and it buffs all my characters by plus 10 plus 10 with attack less than me. It's actually, the reason it's kind of lit up is because this is a hero and Mighty Mouse is saying, hey, I'll give it plus 8 plus 8. I think it's time to replace Anna Bunny. We're kind of going down hero the hero route. I'll, I'll buy a Cowardly Lion, which buffs the mouse's ability, but also gets me a new thing. Oh, here we go. True Love's Kiss. This is one of my favorite cards. SBB veterans might remember this one. It's a spell that transforms a character into a random character, but one level higher. Wishing Dragon's already legendary. It's the highest level. So again, we're getting a secret card. What do we get? Tiamat? Oh, I love this. We're, we're, we're pivoting now. It's got Treasure Horde 5 and... All my dragons, when they die, get me a random treasure. So I'm going to put Tiamat here. And the reason I want, I want this first to hunt. I want this to die. I want this here because slot three is the slot most likely to get attacked before it attacks. Because any of the first three slots can attack it and, and it doesn't go till third. And then I want my sneak character or my range character back here so it has a good chance of attacking. All right, Stinky worked. That worked. I just got to make sure Tiamat goes down. All right, there we go. Achilles High Top's actually a pretty good treasure. Each fight, my heroes get plus three, plus three. And I've got actually kind of a lot of heroes. Uh, I'll take the Bronze Goose just here because that the second one is golden. Oh, Guinevere. She's a 55-55. She has plus 20, plus 20 for each quest you've completed. And if you get her up to 100 attacker health, which we will be able to soon, I'll get a, legend, I'll get a legendary treasure. Or I could just buy Two-Headed Dragon because with Tiamat, all my dragons are just incredibly good i think i buy two-headed dragon just because getting oh, i gotta switch these getting a getting a treasure every turn is going to be a pretty big advantage here stinky doing his thing golden fountain whenever i find a treasure i get to keep two of those copies and fortification so it's random look i got a a common treasure i got a rare treasure i got an uncommon treasure it's just all completely random and here I just want to abracadabra, get a shop of all spells. And I think I just lost in the woods. I just, I'm just looking for dragons. There we go. Here's another dragon. And let's, sorry, Mighty Mouse. We, you did some good work. Oh, Bronze Goose. So this is golden. So let's buy it. And I get to choose two because I have the, the golden fountain. So your pirates have hunt plus 10, plus 10. No. Double the stats of bronze characters in your shop. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. And I, because Jasmine Dragon just triggered, I get a new shop. Because whenever I get a treasure, I get a shop. The first time, at least. And then when an enemy KOs one of your villains, that enemy's health becomes one. Well, I've got one villain right now. But I'm just not going to take pirates, so I'll take Poison Apple. And I do like Jasmine Dragon, but I think Oberon is really strong. At this, each fight, give the characters in front of me plus 20 attack. But that's a, a bonus that happens each fight. So I think... Achilles, you are going down. And I'm just putting dragons up there. And I'm basically, I'm going to lose this fight. Look at this blind mouse. Well, if this mouse, oh, it did. It fought a villain. So it took, went down to, it took a ton of damage. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, that was pretty lucky. Um, I got an extra treasure or two. What did I not get? Oh, I got a cutlass. <laughs> All right. I, I guess I'll take Oberon. Or no, this is great. It's a Treasure Horde 3 dragon, and when it dies, you get another Treasure Horde 3 character. Is it time for Stinky to go down? Stinky is helping me a lot, but Spirit Dragon, I think, is pretty great. And this is an animal. Nessie is not a dragon, unfortunately. Uh, let's just all hands on deck for now. It's pretty weak, but I, don't, I, I, I just want to have all dragons because Tiamat is just... I'm just like farming. Oh, I got a secret legendary treasure. This is uh, all your golden characters have double stats. At some point, that'll be good. And a world trub. I just got two level seven treasures <laughs> or level six treasures rather. So like this says now my characters count as all types. I don't need dragons anymore. Tiamat now works with all my characters. This is awesome. And then my golden characters have double stats. Well, let's take spirit dragon. Hmm. I don't really want any of this. I could take Blind Mouse because this is going to get a lot bigger. I don't really need this two-headed dragon. I think I actually will do that. And because like this is a hero now because it counts for all types. So every turn it's going to get plus five plus five, which is really plus ten plus ten because this gets double buffs. Oh, I'll take another Jasmine Dragon, sure. And I could True Love's Kiss to another Legendary. Yeah, 
Let's or another secret rare. Battered Star Galactica is a seventy six seventy or sixty eight, and and it, it wants to get battered. It wants to take two hundred damage. All right, I, I will take that. Hmm. Do I want Merlin? I don't think I'm casting too many spells, but no, Merlin's still pretty busted. Let's just replace the Jasmine Dragon, I think. And let's put this there and see how this works out. All right, the Blind Mouse. Oh no, it hit Tiamat, so I lose. So my drag, my cards no longer have a treasure or a get me a treasure when they die because Tiamat's not in play anymore, unfortunately. And I'm going to lose this fight. Uh, okay. Uh, Let's, let's not lose again, shall we? So I can buy a big fairy queen. I think blind, blind mice plus get a new shop is great. Oh, here we go. Giant spirit dragon. Because remember, goldens, your goldens have double stats. And then I could take cannonballs whenever my character's attacks gets plus 12 plus 12. Or my slots just have plus 17 plus 17. Or when one of my characters dies, all my other characters get plus 5 plus 5. I um, think I'll take the most defensive option, which is just... Give, just get the stats right away. Oh, I get two of these. Yeah, I'll take the cannonballs then. I like the, those both. I don't think I need... Well, True Love's Kiss does... You know, I think this Battered Star Galacta is actually not that good. I don't care about getting a treasure from that. Let's find something else. Oh, much better. Storm Nebula. It's ranged, which is great. Doubles your first spell and has plus five attack for each spell you've cast. So I think this Spirit Dragon is going to do the trick. The other thing is now because of the World Trub, this Apple works on all my characters. They're all villains. So there we go. We got our heart back. Uh, Eureka. Give a character plus seven plus seven. Feels a mage. Get a new shop. Well, my blind mouse is a mage. So now I get two new shops off Storm Nebula. And my Merlin pumps everything. Uh, let's take a gigantic cowardly lion and just get some treasures. Pandora's box. Next turn I get a legendary. Yeah. Oh, your farewell abilities are also hunt abilities. Oh, my God. All right. I'll just take Earthstone because I don't want to count on next turn happening. I'm going to Bahamut over Merlin, or Bahamut rather, over Merlin. We just, I think we can just do that. And then I'll just take a random spell here. So now when I hunt, I also get a treasure. <laughs> oh, all right. We're, we have so many treasures, you can't see them all, but they're all working, trust me. And uh, this is this is really just going according to plan. I don't think... Oh, I even get one more turn of just beats here. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll buy a Merlin. Oh, Bahamut is just... If I get to find a golden Bahamut, it's going to be like a 200. Oh, I might as touch. I found a golden Bahamut. <laughs> it's not, by 200. I don't know what I was saying. It's going to be like a 2,000. It's like 1,300. And uh, I could buy like a 519, 519 Davy Jones. I guess that's better than two blind mice. I mean, whatever. It's we, At this point, we're just running up the score. We're, we hunted into a tiger's paw. We hunted into a widow's web. So now just everything just is going crazy. All right. Boom. Another first place. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it really is not always that easy, but uh, it works for me. So if you'd like to learn more about this game, please check out galaxygame.gg. It's a lot of fun. It's mobile. It's free. You can just download it right now on iOS or Android, and it will eventually come to Steam as well because we are now in open beta. And uh, we'd love if you checked it out. So thanks for watching and uh, prepare to explore the galaxy. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps out the channel and you won't miss a single draft.